Welcome to day four of the 12 builds of Christmas. Today we are headed to the old shop at the airport. We have to finalize the two wheel drive blazer today. But before we do that, have you guys been doing your push ups? Huh? Christmas is over. That means no slacking. Push ups and squats every day. Now let's get into it. Before I can continue on the uh, builds at my at the new shop, I need to do a little setting up. I need the crane for the next stage of the builds, so I have to set up my crane. I got to get the tools set up. A little bit better because the next ones are going to be a little more intense and they're going to test my abilities <laughs> see if I can get through them alone or not since nobody likes to show up for these things hey mr. white how's the Lego building going over Christmas <laughs> so while I'm uh, doing that I'm also still under pressure about getting out of the old shop and we still have four vehicles in there and I'm hoping to finalize the little two-wheel drive blazer we got a bunch of little stuff to do on it my friend Terry's coming down to give me a hand putting the bumpers on and, and hopefully we're not missing anything but the little two-wheel drive blazer will hopefully be turnkey by the end of today and actually able to drive and then uh, it's moving all the vehicles out and whatever's left in the shop. And I do not have my toolboxes in there anymore, so I'm literally just working out of a tool kit or whatever tools are uh, in my Dodge. So we're going to the shop to assemble another square body. And uh, don't worry, the next one isn't going to be a square body because it's New Year's. We have to do something special for New Year's. Last week at the airport. Had a lot of fun here. I'm gonna miss this place. But not that much. All right. The Ford is getting ready to roll out. The Camaro is leaving tomorrow on a tow truck. Mercedes will be after the Ford. Look at that. Looking pretty good, hey? Now, all the seats are just sitting there. I have not located the bolts yet. All that wiring is for the stereo, which the customer is going to deal with himself after. Uh, I still need to bolt all the dash in. Have not found the bracket for the rear seat. I don't quite understand yet what's missing to mount that to the floor. So I'm going through parts. The trim that holds the carpet down was painted yellow, so he's going to have to find some new ones, so I don't think I have to deal with that. Uh, this door panel, because this door is a newer door, and this handle is different than that one over there, it doesn't fit the hole so I'm not sure why this is a different size it's actually this piece is bigger and uh, the door that we replaced it with uh, the handle was broken so there's uh, a little issue there but that's not a today thing because uh, I'm really short for time have to clean these up have those pieces in the paint room. I already painted them. New, uh, that's the trim for the windshield. We are missing the pan, the uh, cover. It goes over the fuel tank filler hose. So he's trying to find one of those. Let's see, gotta bolt the canopy down, have to put the fuel tank in. And I got a coolant leak I need to deal with. Oh, and a transmission cooler line. Let's hope I grab the right one. Fingers crossed. So, got a little bit to do, but uh, the only, <laughs> the only yellow left on this thing 
is that. <laughs> and believe it or not, I didn't have one on any of the trucks out in the yard. Any that I could give up. So, today we're puttering on the uh, little blazer. I forgot. Uh, the new grill just showed up. The customer should be dropping that off later today. And we have a new front bumper. And then we can assemble all this front end as well. So right now I should probably rip all the brackets off the old bumper. Get them ready for the new bumper. Stuff like that. Ooh, what else do I need? I forgot. We got to replace this taillight housing as well. Because all the corners were broken. So we can't put the new taillight on. So we'll get that out of the way right away. So we can put a taillight on and it looks nice. See, got the new uh, marker lights on it. Boy, that thing's come a long way. So while we're doing assembly today, I wanna to talk about what it's like owning your own shop and the little details that are actually really important. For example, this taillight housing I'm just taking out, uh, somebody has used these little screws, which these screws are actually for these panels to hold in the doors. But when you take a vehicle apart and you just throw it all in a box and you don't bag anything up, well, it makes assembly take so much longer. You're constantly messing around trying to find stuff like where's all the bolts for the seats. And these are the things that make me crazy because when it, you get to the end of the vehicle, it's all the little details that matter and that can really burn up a customer's budget. You know, a customer thinks, uh, okay, well, I've got, you know, this much money for a budget. Let's call it 10 grand. Um, just because you didn't organize yourself, can, that 10 grand can quickly turn into 15 when you don't do things right. So those are the little details that really, really bother me. And those are the little things that show up in the end in your quality. Just not doing stuff right. So, little tips as we go. We have a brand new front bumper. I still need to uh, rip that bracket off. But that bolt's spinning on me and it's got that plastic guard. Got the other one off. And of course paint them so there's no more yellow. But, we have a front bumper and now I don't need help getting it on. We have a rear bumper. Now this is not a brand new bumper. This is actually off, uh, I believe 80s, 81 or newer. So it's not mint condition, but it's straight and it fits perfectly. And we need to find bumper brackets for the rear. I actually don't remember what was on the back of this thing. And we have a fuel tank in. Yeehaw! <laughs> So I do not have the right transmission uh, cooler line. So we're gonna have to head out and rob some more parts. We're down to transmission cooler line, fix the uh, radiator leak and run the wiring over the rad properly, mount the battery box and put some fuel in it. And then uh, this thing is uh, ready to fire up and I still haven't located all the bolts for the seats. A little bit of uh, bolting stuff together still. Making progress though. Holy. Ha, that looks beautiful. I gotta take a moment, load the old Ford up. I'm running out of time. It's serious crunch time for me. Ha, that thing's beautiful. Crazy, my shop's getting empty. Ugh, sorry, had to move the tire. Me, I'm exhausted. <laughs> We're all loaded up. That Camaro's gone, it's gonna look really empty in here. The new grill has showed up and it's not in paint, but it's gonna get installed anyways. 
and we gotta throw that transmission cooler line in now so we can put this thing on the ground. Boy, this is a real lifetime crunch. This isn't like television shows getting ready for an event. No, <laughs> we gotta get this thing done and be out by the weekend. So this is why I'm closing. See this toolbox? How do you find anything? These are the things that make me crazy. Let me just show you something else. When I ask things to be put away, I expect them to be put away nicely. You see that red piece? We've painted that three times. And this is how things are treated. So this is why I am done dealing with the BS of people not doing things right. Yeah, look at that. It's all scratched and now we gotta paint it again. <sighs> Almost done. Almost done. <laughs> Couple more days. I wasn't gonna do this today, but might as well get one more out of the way. If we can get back to building monsters. Up goes the Mercedes. Next is the Camaro. Not only are we working on the Blazer, but you guys are getting a, a moving out video. <laughs> Almost there. I figured I might as well show you guys upstairs because I don't think I've ever shown upstairs in all the years I've been here. I kept it a secret. This was my parts area and we had this all walled off with plastic. But this was completely heaping with parts at times so bad that there wasn't even a path around here. Earlier on at one point, this was uh, where we did upholstery. There's an old sewing machine here. And Tom would do upholstery. He did the zombie interior up here. I love that interior. But this is... Uh, the parts mezzanine. And this is the only time and last time you will ever see this. Kinda cool. All right. Let's get this Jimmy done. Well, blazer, that's what it is. Got too many of these things in my life. <laughs> oh yeah, and there's the little paint room. See, we had airlines all hanging everywhere. This used to be some kind of production facility, but this is our little parts paint room. Pretty crazy, not gonna be here anymore, it's weird. I was hoping to have it done for this video and running, but we're missing a whole bunch of screws and bolts. We need the, uh, all the adjusters for the headlights before those bezels can go in. The grill's mounted in. Uh, radiators meant in, the transmission cooler lines in. We have the battery box, but we have a uh, broken dipstick in the hole. So the bottom end is broken off in the hole. So I want to fix that before running this thing. Oh, look at that. We have ourselves a nice coolant leak. Awesome. <laughs> Looks like I have to do a gasket there. So we don't get to run it today. So it's going up to the new shop now and uh, we'll finish it there. So while you guys are watching this, I'll be hauling the last load out of here. <laughs> On to bigger, better things.